Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to share with you how to replace screen in Final Cut Pro so you can do effects like this. screen replacement tutorial i'm going to show you three methods of how to do this so stay tuned to the end of this video so you can know how to use it in many different situations just quickly let me give two shout outs as every day first the notification shout out goes to modi thank you so much for being first in the last video and shout out to you and the fan shout out goes to sebastian world gaming and animation thank you so much for watching my videos and shout out to you without further ado let's jump to final cut pro we're gonna start with the easiest if you have some like stock footage or like some green screen footage. We're gonna start off where the frame doesn't actually move, aka the screen. You can actually see that the frame doesn't move, but if it's tricky, you could go to view and then click show horizon. Now you see this line. Now focus on this little rectangle here. When you play this video, it'll stay in the same position. You see, there you go. You see the people are moving, but it's still centered in the same spot. So that's important. And this is super easy, actually. Now we're gonna get my clip, for example. Obviously we removed the parts that we don't need. Now you put this on top of the other frame. Now click the transform tool. And now approximately covered the screen. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna work fine in just a second. Don't worry if it's sticking out. That's what I'm saying. So now that you have this done, now put the clip on the bottom of the other one. Click the other clip. Then take here and drag it to the clip and there you go. This is a very dirty green screen as you can see but we can fix it. So what I usually do is click matte tools and then drag this line from left to right. You see now when you play it here's the effect. But now let's say if you want it to be more animated and you wanted to zoom into the screen. Remember this is two different pieces of video this one and this one. So we're just gonna make it into a compound clip. So mark both clips together. So click the right button of a mouse or click two fingers on the trackpad, then click new compound clip. And don't worry about the name, just click enter. So we're gonna zoom in and out and it's gonna act like it's one video. So for example, we click transform tool, then on the top click add new keyframe, then click next keyframe, go to the end of this little clip for example, resize it and move it to the right for example, then click next keyframe. Now you see it's zooming in but everything is attached together. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you method number two. Another method is the screen doesn't move anymore, but it's it's not a green screen. You have to actually replace the screen. All right, obviously we have my video here. And now we have the stock footage of Times Square. So you see everything like around it, like on the screen moves, but like the screen itself doesn't move. Whether it's a picture or a video, I'm going to put my, my video on there. I could put my video on top of this and make it smaller, but that's not the way to do it. First, go on the right side and then select masks. I like to do this mask, draw mask, cause you can basically draw your own mask. So drag it on top of the clip and pretty much we're gonna mask this part out. To be more specific, you can always zoom in by selecting instead of full view, you can choose a high percentage. You see now it got closer to us and we're gonna do this on the first screen. So basically make the points. In this case, the corner of the screen is cut, but that's not a problem. So we're gonna stick out of the frame right now, then, then close the mask. You see, instead of the screen getting removed, the entire background got removed, but we're gonna revert that. So go on the right side and then click invert mask. Then you can unmark the pencil so you don't see the points. Now you put me on the top first, resize it, turn the video slightly. And since this video is in the angle, usually you'll have 3D rotation, but I don't have that. So we could slightly fake it. Basically, we're going to squash my image side to side. So it appears as it is a different angle. Then approximately match the screen. Also, you could reduce capacity if you don't see what you're doing. Like this. So you can see, see where the screen is and all. Then once you're done, re return a full opacity. Then on the actual timeline, put this clip on the bottom. And there you go. And now you're on Times Square. Congratulations, guys, you're popular. And of course, if you want this to move together, make another compound clip. And now the same thing like we did before. So now it looks like you have Dolly for the camera. There you go. Now the third method, this is the most difficult one, is when the actual screen is moving. So for example, we have this video zooming into the screen. So in this case, not only is it zooming into the screen, but we're getting bigger because it's zooming in. So we put my actual video on top of the screen. Then we're gonna zoom in. Then we're gonna make the view bigger. Now we're gonna reduce the opacity of my video. 
And we're gonna basically get the mask and then drop it on my video. Now we can see where the actual screen ends so we can do the mask. Now return your clip to full opacity and now make final adjustments. Now we click the transform tool, then click add a keyframe on top, then the next keyframe, and then you have to do it frame by frame. So you move one frame, then add another keyframe. Obviously you move your video so it matches the screen. To move one frame, you can even click this arrow on the right. Usually this would be easier if Final Cut Pro had motion tracking, but it doesn't. So you just have to do it frame by frame. Every time you see it moving, just adjust it. Obviously you make it bigger if necessary. Now when I play it, it moves together. Obviously this is not perfect. I just wanted to show you, but on your own time, make it perfect. I hope you guys enjoy, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the playlist beside me. There's other Final Cut Pro tutorials in there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!